Hey, it's Chris. Whenever it comes to fitness, normally you don't think of video games, but that's about to change with my latest gadget, which is the Oculus Quest virtual reality headset. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about whether you can get a workout with this thing or not. The Oculus Quest virtual reality headset is a standalone virtual reality system. So you don't need any computer, there's no cables. It is put it on, set it up, and you're ready to go. So once you get it all set up, then it's time to hop into a game. So the first one and most popular, if you've done any research on this headset, is Beat Saber. Beat Saber is a game where you're gonna use basically lightsabers to chop blocks to the beat of music. It's very easy to get started and it's actually a really good workout. So I did a unscientific test of Beat Saber where I use my Apple Watch to record my physical activity for 20 minutes while doing Beat Saber. I also recorded 20 minutes while doing weightlifting and I also did a 20 minute light jog outside. And the results of those 20 minutes are running, which is running is obviously gonna be probably the, the highest amount of calories per time exerted, was 20 minute run, 229 calories. A 20 minute lift was only 116 calories, which is understandable because a lot of the time that you spend lifting, you're also recovering between sets. And then for my 20 minute VR Beat Saber session was 139 calories. So more than lifting, but obviously less than running. Still pretty surprised by that number. If you're interested in the exercise potential of virtual reality, then I highly recommend going to the VR Health Institute website. They are a San Francisco State University affiliated institute that is trying to scientifically rate the exercise potential of VR and augmented reality experiences. Their rating for Beat Saber is six to eight calories per minute or the equivalent of playing tennis. This actually lines up with my unscientific test where I did my 20 minutes of Beat Saber and I burned 139 calories. The VR Health Institute ranks virtual reality experiences from resting, which is one to two calories a minute, which is really the equivalent of sitting on the couch and playing an Xbox game. They have walking, which is two to four calories, elliptical, which is four to six, tennis, which is six to eight, rowing, which is eight to 10, and then biking, which is 10 to 13. So resting, walking, elliptical, and tennis all those ratings have games on the Oculus Quest that you can download. The two that I've played the most have been Box VR, which is, in my opinion, a great workout, and Beat Saber, which is also a fun and pretty good workout as well. There are other games like Creed Rise to Glory, which also falls under that tennis six to eight calories per minute. When it comes to rowing and biking, the two highest at eight to 10 for rowing and 10 to 13 for biking, there are none currently available on the Oculus Quest for that. One thing to consider if you're going to use your virtual reality headset to try to burn a few more calories, that is the fact that you're gonna sweat. So the Oculus Quest does have a foam kind of cover that is pressed up against your face and it's really designed to soak up the sweat so it will get pretty nasty relatively quickly. There is a company called VR Covers that makes, well, covers that go on top of those that um, are basically fake leather. They're easy to wipe out. They also have a set that is very easy to take on and off and to, to wash, which are great for working out. Or if you're gonna do demos of a lot of VR to your friends. So there are obviously experiences on the Oculus Quest where you can get a pretty decent workout and break into a sweat. But maybe you're looking for something a little bit less vigorous than that. Then one of my favorites, and it's free, is Rec Room. So Rec Room has games like paintball, uh, paddle ball, dodgeball, and these are nowhere near as vigorous as Beat Saber, or Box VR or Creed. Those are ones that will definitely, within 20 minutes, will get you sweating. But if you want something a little more gradual, where you're gonna be playing a longer period of time, then Rec Room burns two to four calories per minute. It's a really fun game. You can team up with your friends and play in a social environment. It's basically the Wii Sports of virtual reality. Is the Oculus Quest gonna replace my Peloton running outside or 
hitting up the gym? Definitely not, but it's still pretty cool to think that I can burn some calories and have some fun doing things that it's impossible for me to do in real life. So that is the Oculus Quest virtual reality headset. So if you wanna see me try some other games, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below which ones you wanna see. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below and I'll catch you guys in my next video.